last guest today is Stuart Langer. Stuart from Palette Fine Wines and Provisions in absolutely. downtown Branson. Yeah, absolutely. And you're just up the block from where you cross the street to go to Branson Landing. That's Easy. correct. Yeah, half a block, I mean, in, down in downtown. Yeah. And it's just a wonderful store. I love going in there. And you're great because you're trained and you can tell everybody about what they're looking at there. Absolutely. I just recently took the entry to a uh, sommelier exam, so I'm in mm -hmm. that process of being certified and going going through that process. But even before that, you knew all about wines? Uh, well, uh, at least something about wines, How for sure. How long have you been at Palette? Uh, about five years now. Five years, yeah. yeah. And so we've got a couple of examples here. So if I walk into a wine store, I'll just say, I want a good bottle of wine. Sure. And you might ask me what I'm serving for dinner or something. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I like to work on wine pairings. I think yeah. wine is meant to be had with food, and so that's one of the yeah. first things I start with. And then we look at price range. You know, at Palette, we have everything from $10 to as much as you want to spend, if you want a collector's wine or whatever. I think some people, there's a misconception about Palette that you can't get something reasonable. Yeah. There's reasonable wines in Palette, and we can really supply a great product because everything's hand-chosen. I'm trying two to 3,000 wines a year to pick the mm -hmm. wines for the store. And so by doing that, we call out the things that we don't think fit you know, in their price point, and we really bring in great quality products. You know, a good example is this uh, Marcus Molitor Riesling. It's from Germany. I think there's a misconception about Rieslings. A lot of people think they're only sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've got some very dry Rieslings that are very crisp. It's actually one of the most versatile grapes. They can be from very dry to very sweet. Uh, mm -hmm. And so I think people really need to revisit them. I've been on a kind of renaissance with Rieslings lately and really drinking a lot of them. So it's really refreshing, great white wine, going to pair with a lot of food, uh, and just good to sit down and drink if you want to just drink one also. Yeah. So. And you let people sample uh, some, yeah, we do. some we, of the bottles. Absolutely. Yeah. We have samples open. We'll, you know, we're selective, obviously, on what we have yeah. open. Uh, and we have a focused uh, wine tasting every Thursday uh, from 5 to 7.30. It's called Wine Down Hour. And then those wines will be open all weekend, too. So just come by any time over the weekend if you want to try wine. Uh, the wine so. tasting on Thursday, Thursdays, you yep. said? Yeah. From five to one. Five till seven thirty. Ah. And so anybody can just stop by, or do just, you have to make a reservation? No, just come something? by, come by and try wine. We'll always have wines open, three or four wines, uh, and just yeah, uh, nice. you know, and I can kind of give you a little education about them. But what it does, it gives you opportunity to try things that you might not normally try. Yeah. And so we find with experimentation that we may find something we enjoy that we didn't know we liked. That's great. I didn't know you did that on yeah, Thursdays. Absolutely. And what's this one? Uh, this is Bridesmaid. This was my number one seller last year in that in that mid tier price point. Uh, it's thirty eight dollars. It's a Cabernet. Blue blend from California. Um, it's got a wonderful story behind it because this wine is the bridesmaid, not the bride. So it's got a great story behind it. So I'll have to tell you about it when somebody comes in. Uh, I was rated 92 points by the Wine Advocate, really good press. But the thing I like about it is it's pull cork ready. What I mean by that is we can pull the cork and it's ready to drink right now. I don't have to wait two hours for it to open up. It drinks beautiful right off the bat. And that's what I like about it because some reds are a little difficult. So. Ah. Well, I have to come and get educated by you because I'm not sure what a difficult <laughs> wine would be. <laughs> Some of them just don't taste good when you first open it. They need to air. They need yeah. to breathe. And yeah. so this one will drink right off the bat. And you'll tell us that when we go in. Absolutely. And that's what a lot of times when I ask people, you know, are you wanting to drink it now? Are you wanting to age it? Is it a present? You know, yeah. let's get more information when we're selecting that bottle. Oh, that's perfect. And you've got also some cool gift stuff in there. Oh, All absolutely. Kinds of stuff. Absolutely. You know, one of the things we have is Askinosi chocolate. We're basically the only person in Branson right. that has Askinosi chocolate from Springfield. Mm -hmm. um, great chocolatier up there. Um, and so we've got, you know, olive oils, balsamic vinegars, salts. Also, we do have, you know, a nice selection of liquor. We have beer, uh, cigars. So, you know, we've got a lot of other things to offer besides just wine. From the outside, it looks like it's a very small place, but it's, it's got a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in there, yeah. but again, you know, everything about it's focused. It's all hand-selected. It's there for a reason. Wonderful. Well, Stuart, thank you so much for being on the show. Absolutely. I appreciate it. And thank you for joining us, and be sure and tune in for our next show.